It is, what is this, Tuesday, I think. I am so lost on my days and stuff because we haven't been streaming as regularly as we usually do. September has just been a rough month for our little channel, let me tell you. Uh, yesterday's um, off time was due to my inability to log in um, through the Steam client. From what I understand, um, folks that were going through the regular um, the regular client, not through Steam, were still able to log in. And if I had actually kept mine or re-downloaded it, you know, reinstalled the original client, I probably could have gotten in, but I just didn't want to go through that whole rigmarole. I already have a PTR copy and the Steam client, and I just didn't want to add a third one up. Um, so let me put my tweet out. I got that sorted. Hey, Poi, good morning. How are you feeling? So glad to have you back. We missed you. Even though we, we kind of took about as many days off as you did, um, which was unintentional, I promise. Uh, between uh, steam being down and me being sick off and on, it's just been, yeah, just a really rough month. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, so um, we are back, yay. Um, and uh, there's a few things we need to cover before we get into any goofiness that we're going to do for today. Um, first, uh, there have been some, um, oh, well, I'm glad to hear it, boy. Glad to hear it. Hey, Faye, good morning. Um, what was I saying? Right, stuff. <laughs> um, firstly, uh, some of you may have noticed, if you've been logging in regularly every day since the launch, um, since live, uh, you may have noticed that the daily rewards have stopped um, let me see if I can call that window up. Welcome window. Uh, you'll see that if you reach the day 349, it just stops there. Um, from what I understand, they're planning to extend that to 365. Um, but uh, the, I guess the extension didn't make it into the latest update, um, so maybe this week we will see that um, uh, put in. Um, in addition to, let me call it up again here, in addition to uh, that information, uh, day 340 was our last welder decor, um, it was a Chua welder uh, style one. Now. I saw a post um, in the forums from uh, Cadium uh, in a discussion talking about the daily rewards and how they've ended and everything. And uh, in addition to them talking about extending it and everything, uh, she did mention that there will be a change coming soon that will allow anyone who's reached day 340, which is the uh, Chua welder. Um, they will be they will unlock the ability from the housing vendor to purchase additional uh, versions such as the Orin, the Draken, and the Mordesh welders. So that's you know if if the welders have been something you've been you know looking forward to, especially uh, for a particular race, uh, that might be some welcome news to you. For me personally, it's not that big of a thing because I don't really use um, the NPCs all that much. Uh, I have a lot of different types, the dancing ones and the ostentatious ones and the welders and everything, but I really I very rarely use them uh, just in select uh, situations. Um, uh, in addition to that, uh, I did want to mention some of the um, housing packs. Um, you'll remember that we did have the topiary decor pack that gave you um, multiples of the regular hedges. And there was also some topiaries of different uh, animals. Um, well, now they have a autumn version. Uh, the only difference I see, and I really can't confirm this because I haven't purchased it myself, 
is that in the regular one, they have like the hedge rounded times four, uh, same for the small, the rectangular, and the single. They all say times four in the description. Now for the full version, that isn't um, the same. I don't know if that means you're just getting singles. If that's true, then it's not as great a deal as the uh, the non-autumn version because it's basically the same price for fewer pieces but if you know you're into the fall scenes and getting prepared for shades eve and that kind of stuff then um maybe it's worth it for you uh, maybe it's just a visual uh, boo boo that it's not listed as times four on the other set. Um, I don't know if any of you have already purchased the uh, the autumn pack um, and can confirm that there's actually multiples of these uh, particular bushes and stuff. But um, just something to be aware of. I noticed that as I was pawing through them uh, this morning um, right quick. Um, again, we do have the waterfall decor pack that is out um, that has lots of plants and waters and, and uh, uh, little creatures, flitterflies. Um, I will say that the flitterfly one, you can see them, they'll pop up here. I have two of them out. I got one closer to the waterfall and one here near the entrance. And they're really hard to see at the size that I dropped them in, but when I go into edit mood, mode, I can't figure out where that particular, it doesn't have like one of those invisible boxes um, that show up in edit mode. So I'll have to hunt it down. Maybe I can make it bigger and have a little bit more, but you can see it's every now and then you'll see them, the little buggies uh, flitting around. And again, I have it over here somewhere. I think it's over here. Anyway, you can see that I've uh, added in one of the new waterfalls. I was testing around with it. It's, there's still the old one. There, there's one of the bugs. Um, there's still the old waterfall um, behind it uh, because when I took it out, it looked a little funny. So I just went ahead and left it. Um, but you can see uh, the smoke and everything. Now, I did leave. There's still a buoyant blue crystal down there, so I've got that extra little... I don't know what you call it, wispy things popping up. Um, but uh, all the smoke and the, the water effect here uh, is all from the actual waterfall um, item itself. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people have uh, decided to do some, uh, uh, some new builds. I've seen a lot of people uh, talking about it, adding in either replacing existing water features or they've just completely restarted a, a project just to be able to use these. Um, I have the rest of them on this particular character, but I just haven't uh, figured out what else I'm going to do with them. So just something to mention. Um, let's see. Again, um, I wanted to mention, for those of you that were having problems yesterday with Steam, I didn't try it myself, but I did have um, someone post a message. Let's see. my notification so I can quickly dig it up. Um, they had suggested a, a workaround um, saying that go to Steam apps, run non-Steam launcher, it will start the installation process, cancel it, then run the Steam version and it should have worked. Again, I didn't see this until way late um, yesterday, so I didn't really bother testing it. But it's something you might note down and try um, if ever this happens again. Um, I don't really know what... Uh, caused the issue with the steam i know a lot of folks were blaming the latest update um, there's even problems um, some are reporting about using uh, uh, add-ons through steam that it's not recognizing um, uh, the curse add-ons and such so i don't know if it's just steam itself that's having the issue or uh, if wildstar just hasn't been fully acclimated to um you know mesh well with that client or I don't know what it is 
just be aware that uh, there are some issues and if you're having problems um, I would strongly recommend uh, joining in some of the discussions on the forum um, to either offer solutions or to try and uh, work out uh, you know see if anyone can offer some assistance Well, I don't think the add-ons itself was the one that was blocking the Steam uh, client from loading. It's just whenever I try to load through the Steam, you know, the launcher, um, it wouldn't even give a play button. It just kind of sat there. And uh, But from what I understand, if you bypass that and then canceled and then reworked it again, then it would start up for you. Or for those that aren't actually playing through the Steam client, um, they could log in. The add-on thing is a separate thing, I believe. Um, it's just that if you get your um, add-ons through Curse, if you're doing them straight up through the old original Wildstar client, it recognizes that it's there. But if you do it through the Steam client, I think apparently it's not catching that they're there or something. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I saw people talking about it on Twitter and on the forum. So, so yeah, uh, just something to keep in mind. Uh, again, it's one of those deals. If you're having troubles with it, you know, take it to the forum, uh, take it to Twitter. I'm sure there's others that can offer some suggestions or sympathy if they're experiencing the same problems. Um, so as it happens, I didn't play it all yesterday. Uh, just kind of took an extra day of break and um, now what you see here um, for those of you that haven't uh, seen this since I was doodling with this is from I think Saturday um, Saturday afternoon evening somewhere around there um, I added in some tables and uh, some cabinetry and stuff and have been playing around with ideas for sewing type deals so that's what we're going to go over today and then we'll see about adding out in some other uh, bits and bobbles. Um, again, this is supposed to be like a costume seamstress slash tailor shop kind of thing. It's a, a place where they would come make their costumes or outfits or anything to do with fabrics. And, um, you know, the, the little uh, inset areas would be the display for the completed works. And then the inner area is where uh, the projects are being worked on. This There's no like big rhyme or reason to it. Uh, I just started putting them, some things together, trying out different items to see if I could make them look like bits. And uh, so... Uh, the tables themselves are just um, wooden two by fours. Um, it's just they're oversized. It's basically I set up one, uh, copied it a couple of times to get it all the way across, and then I used the same size for all the rest. So we've got like a little inset uh, shelf on each side. Um, and uh, then it's just replicated three times, you know, t twice. So it's three tables and then each table's got a little bit of different setup so this one is um, I've got a pin cushion a thimble and some scissors um, I started to fiddle around with this piece here and I couldn't decide if I liked it as like a book item or if it's like some kind of partial pattern um, it's like with these with the um, the pins I started doodling as if I was pinning uh, some pieces together and getting ready to cut it um, to shape or whatever. Uh, so the items I'm using this here are uh, cardboard boxes. It's just the open version so that I have that flap there to mess with. You could probably use different, different style. Um, the way I built the tables, it's got a little bit of a thickness in the middle. Just right around this area here. So some of the things um, were more easily hidden. Others you'll notice um, 
like here they're sticking out I'll be hiding them behind things like this um, you'll see that this is actually hiding uh, a bit that I don't want seen so that'll come later as I clean it up a little bit I'll just add some pillows or something in front uh, the scissors are uh, my typical swords and buckets um, there's been a few others that have made scissors in using different pieces um, but that's the easiest and favorite of mine um, it's something I did way back when uh, I had a barber shop set up on one of my alt plots and uh, that was what I used for the barber shop sign and I put another one on the uh, the little table there um, so that's just buckets and swords and uh, see them there just two and two uh, the pen cushion is again swords I'm just using that one that has it's the same sword I'm using for the scissors in fact it's the one that's got the like the little uh, finer handle as opposed to the other like the broadsword and such uh, the thimble is an upside down tiny chew a cup just really small tiny tiny um, and of course the little patterned um, bit here is uh, a mattress it's sunk down so it looks a little thin I had to make it a little thicker on the sides because you can see that the it actually has a bow it's not perfectly flat so you have to kind of work with it on that um, where the pin heads are <clears throat> that's just um, staircase the metal stairs just use it so I could see just the end so it's tiny slanted twisted just enough and that's why you see parts of it sticking out here and on this side <clears throat> Um, as far as the fabric rolls here, these are Orin clocks, the cuckoo clocks. It's just the very tip top. I was looking for items that I could use as um, either folded fabrics or uh, rolled fabrics. Uh, yes, we do have the, uh, the beach towel. Um, let's see. The summer decor pack with the, uh, the towels. You got the flat version, the folded, and the rolled. And then if depending on which pack you get, it changes uh, the coloring of the towel. Um, we do have the, um, the sleeping bags, the rolled sleeping bags. But I was looking for things that maybe I normally don't use for those kind of things. So uh, the tops of the orange clocks seemed like a fun idea, it looks like. Some little rolled up yellow fabric. Um, of course, there are the tribal mats. Uh, these are the rolled ones. Um, if you want it to look a little darker, just turn it over. It's got a darker shade on top. It's the same thing I use for the filled pastries in my bakery. Um, we have a lot of people using them for uh, curtains um, in doorways. Some will be rolled up and then they'll use the straight ones, the, the flat ones for um, those that are down, that kind of thing. Um, I didn't happen to have any flat ones um, on this character. I might bring some in later. Um, over here we have another pair of scissors. Um, this time we've got uh, the, the Heart Collection coffee table. That's what's making that blue butterfly looking thing. And then I have this red string. Maybe it's supposed to be one of those measuring tapes. Maybe it's just a big chunk of thread. Um, could be any sorts of things. I had a lot of gift bags left over from uh, Winterfest. They've been sitting in my bank, not being used. And finally I said, enough's enough. Either I'm going to use them or not. Uh, so I decided to toss them over here. Um, they already have the strings on the side, um, and I've just pushed it down so that you just see the string. Um, it's 
you know, they're actually the handles. So there's several of them um, zigzag together, different sizes to make this little squiggly bits of string. Um, this here, hey Cheeky, good morning. <clears throat> this here is supposed to be like, um, I don't know, a bobbin or something. Is that what it's called? The thing with the thread strung around it. Um, for some that may recognize it, it's just the new uh, railing, the Red Moon railing. And I've just sunk it down so that you just see the end with the string. And then I added a uh, falcon post to try and make it look like the string is kind of loose on one end. I have another idea of maybe putting something together that looks like bobbins, but uh, anyway, on this side, um, you'll see that I've used some green pillows as little um, layers of fabric here. And then on this side, got some Tua pillars, pillows. Um, again, they're usually placed where they are to hide something, and that's what this is doing. It's hiding some of the gift bag that's showing through that I didn't want showing. Yeah, the bobbin, something like that. So over on this table, we have, again, another pair of scissors. Um, this little bit here is just the sleeping bag, the flat one, uh, just positioned just so that you just see that little tuft of fabric bit. This here is a combination of another type of gift. It's the one with the big bow on the end. I had actually was thinking about it as just for use of the bow and then I changed my mind and decided to make kind of like a, a little pattern thing with it. So it's like three or four of those layered together and then the red little, I don't know, stitches or something. Um, those are a different gift uh, box. It's the one with the little uh, Protostar clone head on top. I'm just using just that little smidge of ribbon there. Um, again, these are some uh, exa uh, no uh, Cassian walls. Again, being laid up together to make it look like some fabrics. I had to alternate how they're positioned um, so that you could see the difference. Otherwise, they blend in really well together, and you really couldn't tell that there was four layers. It looked like just one big block, so I kind of offset them a little bit to make it look more like um, layers of clothing um, or fabric. Um, here, I just used some big old uh, tan sacks. Again, I'm hiding part of that um, sleeping bag that's probably sticking through. Then I started working on my version of a sewing machine. I've seen others work on some of theirs, um, but... Uh, I was trying to avoid looking at those uh, so that I didn't use some of the same parts, although I may have uh, ended up doing that. Um, it's not complete, uh, it's just the beginnings. I've got a plain dart for the needle. Um, it's an upside down utility crate for the base. And then I'm using a, a table lamp garage style um, for the machine part up above. Um, mostly I wanted that because of this wheel here. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like an old-fashioned one. I just haven't figured out all the other bits and pieces that I'm going to be using. Obviously I'm going to have to hide this a little bit um, in some way. I'm not sure in what way yet, but we'll get to it. Um, I also made a little cabinet. I had a bunch of these... Uh, colorful orange tables uh, dashed away so I moved them all over here and basically it's the same table just repeated up 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 um, it already has this middle drawer built in uh, try and separate one off here it's already got the drawer there and what I did is when I boxed it in on the the sides and top with other tables. I went ahead and added uh, bottles as handles for the door drawers on the sides on each side. So it's you know where they would store their different uh, needles and little thread uh, rolls and uh, uh, 
measuring tapes. Maybe it's a pattern drawer where they have all their patterns stored and such. I don't know. It's just a piece of furniture that I felt like I wanted to try. Um, maybe someone uses it for something else later or some al alternate version of it for something else. Um, over here, I'm planning to add a big uh, shelf uh, for, it's not necessarily rolls of fabric, but you know how it's kind of like on a piece of wood type of thing, and then you've got the fabric kind of, it's like a rectangular, it's, it's like this. Um, but a little thicker. I'm going to be doing that uh, over here. I'm trying to make a different section for each color. Obviously the wall selections are a little meh. Uh, we don't have like blues and, and greens and things like that. So I may have to kind of come up with something that I can use um, for those to kind of fake it in. But I was just playing around with some ideas there. Trixie Belt, that's the revised version of Gadget Sand, right? I don't think I've been back to tour since then. Speaking of tours, I have fallen behind on trying to get organized for tomorrow's uh, house tour stream. I'm going to have to work on that this afternoon to make sure I'm all up in order on that. Okay, so as you can see, I've kind of zipped around here and there. I think of something and then I put it down and then I think of something else and I'd go do that. So it's not really complete in any one place. Um, it's kind of just how I, I work. Let's see, this is 20. Just move these out of the way. going to add in some shelves first. Oops. And I find it funny, I was just noticed it, uh, how the walls are different thicknesses. Most of them are kind of the same except for the Draken one. For whatever reason, that one's like triple the thickness there. I wish all of them were like that because it would save me having to double them up, but anywho. The doors got stuck? Yeah, that happens sometimes. That's why I don't use the functioning doors. Are you talking about, Poi, are you talking about the one that's got like a little bar? An, like a aquarium bar? I know you, you got to go through some caverns for that one. A Sisqui's plot, yeah, Sisqui's got a lot of caverns too. Um, on, uh, what is it, Obsidiara, I think, is the one. So I'm just going to grab a uh, 2x4. You think so? Which part? I said like two things. I don't know which one you're responding to. The joys of being delayed on the on the chat. Like I'll say something and then five minutes later. Yeah. Yeah, Faye, that's the one. That's the one we toured a uh, week before last, I think. Um, she added, well spent months and months and months refining it. Uh, it's the one with all the different districts um, for the um, different races. It's supposed to be like a 
a Helm's Deep, uh, but, you know, Wildstar style, kind of. trying to figure out how I want to do this. Let's see. Let's add a new one. Just say shelf. Don't think I have one called shelf yet. I don't know if I'm gonna wait check this first I guess I need to extend that by one more <clears throat> Ah, oh, Celestine. Mm, I can't remember what that one is. It's probably one she's still got closed off to most of the public because I think there's only a couple of them that are actually open, even though she's got like a whole series of uh, plots. It's like the one that I uh, toured the week before last um, of City R. That's like number two in a series of five that are connected. Um, yeah, it's probably what it is. Because uh, I think the one... Um, I don't know if it's the same one, but there's one that's called um, Rock Solid Tavern. Uh, we've toured that one before, so the bar section of the five plot grouping. And then the week before last, we did the Rock Solid Foundation, where which is the living area. But there's like three more that are part of that whole uh, RP grouping. But uh, yeah, as with many other builders, it's one of those things where It just takes a while to get through it. Okay, let me link these all up to the first one. Try this again. Oops, gosh, dang it. I'm out of the habit of building because I haven't been playing much. <clears throat> Uh, maybe one more. Okay, here. Just gonna check it one more time. I'm just trying to get it so it's a little deep. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll work better. The tavern. Yeah, the tavern is pretty amazing. Um, if she's progressed on because I think the last time we were there was a lot of empty uh, sections, and uh, I assume that the squeeze gotten busy on making sure 
those are no longer empty. Let's see. Rotate. And try and get away with just using one here. See that that rotating little doohickey mess is still around. Very annoying. trying to decide how deep the pockets will be, how big, because I have a limited number of colors so at the moment. Why does that look crooked? Doesn't that look a little off? No. Weird. I guess it's because that one's a little off. There you go. That one looks more gappy than the other one. Probably don't even really need this side, but uh, we're going to put it in anyway. Okay, so... Yeah, I hate that where it twists. Why does that keep doing weird? All right. Thirty one. See, now that's sticking out, but this one's not. What's up with that? Let's push this back a little bit. There we go. I don't know. The wood is weird. Okay, now the tricky part is trying to get this, uh, the divisions between these all the same, so 
I don't know if I can do it with multiple pieces at the same time. So what I do is I just um, put a single up. And then what I'll do is when I copy the full set, I'll just see where this one is landed. Height wise, so that's 19626. And then we'll do the same here. That way I don't have to sit there and try and figure out, okay, how much space is in between each. I think I moved this a little bit. So there four. No, it's the same. It just irks me that that's overlapping like that. So let's um, link all these up together. There we go. Only 150 items. It's so funny. Uh, we were talking, who was I talking with? I can't remember. We were talking about the 300 decor limit and how far we've come. I can't even imagine being limited to that now. Um, I'm not sure about that ploy on the, the supernatural sky. I honestly don't remember. Um, how that got unlocked. I want to say it was something to do with the, the world event, but I honestly can't remember. I'm just hoping we get to see some new stuff. Um, and then I'm not just talking about costumes and things. I'm talking specifically about decor, obviously. That's know where my interest lies but uh talking about is that the one that um that's not the one with the the pumpkin face in the moon is it I honestly don't remember what those are I don't, I don't think i have them unlocked on all my plots i think it's just on carrots oops it's um Ooh, that didn't come out right either, did it? Uh, we'll leave it. So that's um, Hmm. Well, then maybe it is a 50 unlock. I, I wouldn't think it would be because uh, unless it's just during that season, but I'm guessing that the second 50 wasn't when JD was up. Maybe it's you unlocked it with one and any other that come to level 50 accessible because you know how some of those things were kind of locked behind. Um, levels or something. Maybe it's that. I don't know. <laughs> I 
Okay, so... Let's just, I'm just, it's not really shelf anymore, but I'm just going to reuse uh, things so I don't have to keep making a new thing. Just thickening it up a little bit. It's not exactly like I would like. Um, typically the the wood on the end would just be kind of, you'd see the fabric wrapped around it rather than straight up to the edge of it. I don't know if that makes sense, but. And then let's see. Um, I see how I want to do that. I'll just leave it like that. I, I don't know what the. I'm sure there's a special name for it. It's not a roll. It's just a flat, and you kind of like flop it to roll it <laughs> to roll it out. I don't know if it's like. Uh, some weird name like baffle or something. I, baffle of fabric? I'm sure that's not an actual term. I don't even know why I'm thinking of that, but uh, and I usually we go with the traditional round bits and I'm wanting to go with this particular shape instead. Oh, did you? Well, I oh, got something in my eye. I was there for it, but like the candy bowls, um, I got like one. <laughs> and now I wish, well, shortly after the event ended, I wished I had go, went ahead and grabbed all of them. Um, it's just one of those things that hindsight you know is really better why does that look off something about that one is they've been twisted look at that why oh why Let's see if we can fix that How to unlink it now. Isn't that weird? They, they're not even like position right is there's a gap what is that Let's just do this so weird When I moved it, I could see there was something a little off about it, but I couldn't figure out what it was. And it's so weird that some of it twisted and some of it didn't. Okay, well, I'm going to add these in now. <clears throat> I just hope, for lo like for you, Poi, for those that missed it, I hope the old stuff that was there last year is still available. But I also hope that they add some new things in. You know, I won't be totally upset if they don't, but it would still be nice. 
Now I'm all nervous that that's going to twist again. So I keep placing and not placing and placing and not placing. Okay, so that's one. Now I need to replicate this real quick. Here. I'm gonna move this real quick like. Oh, let's see, I need to get this directly in the center, so copy the first one copy the second one and then we'll clone and average between the two and that puts it at 579 579 So in theory, we'll have six bunches for different coloring things, in theory. As far as um, the decor that was available last year, I know there was uh, a bunch of urns, a lot of those green skull lights, which I hardly ever use. The urns sometimes. Um, I think the thing that I use the most from Shades Eve is probably, um, I'm trying to think, the trees, I guess, the spooky trees. Um, those were all good. And the gourds, the, the pumpkin gourds are fun. I'm undecided if I'm going to do an actual Shade Z plot again this year. Um, last year I had the big motivation of setting up events for my guild, but that's kind of gone now. So um, I have no super extra incentive to build up a little area with, you know, stages and, and little games and stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to go all out. For that so there's going to be of course the cbdc um which i'm hoping folks will have fun with but uh beyond that i don't expect that there's going to be too much more i, d I don't think i'll be doing any kind of full-on thing same way with winterfest uh, last year i made a whole little skating rink thing and I had the advent calendar which I might do that again this year the advent calendar thing with and push myself to make uh, new items for the windows but um, as far as like a, a special winter fest plot or shade Z plot I don't think I'm going to be doing that it'll just be like little decorations kind of like this it's just little mini projects and I think that's much easier for me to deal with. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how I want this. end up a little crooked. Very annoying. Not looking exactly like I'd like. That's probably what's bugging me. But... Not much getting around it. So like this one. Let me 
using this one first since I probably won't have to really thicken it up. It's already pretty good. Is that what any of you are planning? Some full on Shade Z plots or uh, Winterfest stuff? I mean, they're so close back to back almost with holiday thing. I figure I figure most will already be pretty solid on the, the Winterfest one with all of the Arctera decor. I'm sure a lot of that will help um, usher that in with all of the frosted pines and um, snow covered rocks that we have now that we didn't have last year. But as far as the, um, the shade deep one, I think the, um, the mossy overgrowth will be a big plus. Um, we didn't have that last year. I don't think, um, that'll be really good. Some of maybe the Arcterra stuff, like the Osun bits might be good for like if you're doing some kind of a mausoleum type of thing. Well, just leave it be then, Cheeky. You work on Alora's plot. <laughs> We don't need you getting distracted. <laughs> Has anyone actually started um, a fairy tales project? Uh, I know. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Who was it? <sighs> Whoops. Didn't double that up. I'll have you cheeky. Well, I think a lot of people have. They've been either burnt out or discouraged for different reasons. But, um, yeah. I sympathize. With those that have lost... Uh, there's been several builders, in fact, that have kind of just gone by the wayside because they're just, I guess, discouraged. Some because of the uh, difficulty in accessing some of the items that they'd like to have. Others because, I don't know. I just don't have the inspiration anymore. Other parts of the game have frustrated them to the point where they just don't want to build anymore. It's, you know, sad, but it happens. Well, if you're looking for any ideas for um, a fairy tale story to kind of run with. I think we mentioned like the, the three little pigs. I figured somebody could work up the little houses for them. Um, we've got the brick uh, pile for the brick house. Um, there's the uh, either the tiki roof or the hay piles or the hay bundles, especially the square one might work uh, pretty good. Uh, although you can make a round house as well um, for the hay house and then what's the other one? Uh, sticks, you could either do that with two by fours or the thorny logs, um, something like that. And, uh, you know, you could cheat and just use one of the malverine uh, things or like that, the one that's uh, got the sword sticking in them. Um, use that as the big bad wolf for the piggies. Uh, again, you could kind of skim by using um, an, you know, not an NPC, but a 
plushy or something for that, you know, maybe make it the three rouse stars instead of the three little pigs. Um, uh, same way with the three little bears, I figure someone would have fun making like a little chair and a bigger chair and a bigger, you know, papa sized chair and then the little bowls of porridge and the small and medium and large sized beds and having, you know, maybe having a death scene of a little yellow curled doll or something with, you know, fake blood <laughs> shooting out. Goldilocks got trapped or, or caught or something. Um, there's uh, the princess and the pea. I don't know if you know that story, but that's the one where she's keeps feeling a pea or something and she like keeps stacking her bed. So then you'd have to come up with different ways of making the mattress. Mattresses look different, like mattresses and blankets and things. And she just keeps get. and there's like this little green pea in the bottom or something. I don't know. I don't know the story really well. There's Hansel and Gretel, um, the candy house. Uh, we had some people um, make gingerbread houses for Winterfest last year. So it's not a far stretch to kind of put that into the story as the witch's candy house. Um, maybe have a, an oven or something with a leg sticking out or, or something um, where they put her in. Um, you know, you don't have to actually go with the characters, just the scene, the setting for the characters, kind of like the little play set that we did for um, the, the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, um, which we'll get back to maybe um, before the end of the month. I've been sitting here staring at this silly thing. Let me fix this. I can't multitask today for some reason. Or any day, maybe. I'm just real bad at that. Okay, so we're going to try and double this up here. Um, trying to think, like I said, Jack and the Beanstalk, I figure, um, to maybe make a golden goose with the golden egg. Um, we've got several golden items, uh, for, uh, the golden egg. There's the golden skull that you could use part of. You know, just the head, the shiny part of the head. There's the, the ash hen, golden ash hen. Um, I'm trying to think of easier pieces that you might be able to get a hold of. Uh, even just part of the golden frame would work. Hey, Bones, good morning. Glad you can make it. Um, for the beanstalk, again, probably the... Uh, what's it? called the uh whoops i want that um the orin fence post where is that thing yeah this one behave like that's the giant just make it really big and that's the, the stock kind of thing and, or if you're wanting to make it as a play scene, use that and then have some white puffy clouds as if it's going up all the way up into the sky, that kind of thing. Um, if you want to make the giant's house, we've seen um, some people do that. Um, just making everything super oversized. Let's see, what other fairy tales are there? Uh, Cinderella, there's uh, her coach, her pumpkin coach. Um, it doesn't have to be a pumpkin. You know, I say pumpkin coach and you automatically probably think orange, but I think the coach actually turns to a blue, bluish crystal, maybe green. I can't really remember, but it doesn't look orange. It might be the kind of shape, sort of. Um, but if you don't want to do that part, then uh, maybe do her fireplace and have some kind of city effects or something. I don't know. That's
Uh, trying to think, trying to think. Every time I try to think of a bunch of fairy tales, I also have uh, nursery rhymes come in, into my head. So there's, um, yes, you do bones. They did fix it finally. Um, I, I don't know what the deal was. I don't know if anyone actually knows what it was except maybe them, but it's pretty frustrating. Yep, we are back in business. Hey Kuja, good morning. Glad everyone could join us today. I feel like we've been like missing so much this month because for one reason or another we just haven't been streaming as frequently as we'd like. But I appreciate that everyone has stuck with us. Again, you could probably come up with other ways of making like a yellow fabric kind of thing. Again, if you have the summer decor pack stuff, those would probably be easier to use. The, um, the beach towels, uh, the rolled beach towels, the folded beach towels to get some nice little patterns and stuff. And maybe I'll add something like that later to uh, give some extra... Oh, that sounds good, Bones. That sounds perfect, in fact. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. Um, and then uh, yesterday when the stream, uh, the Steam thing, the connection for Steam was down, I was like, uh-oh, you might have waited too long. <laughs> Had me worried. Oh, for crying out loud, the thing just... Torsten. All weird. Oh, Kuja, well, maybe if they raise the cap, then you can have a little fun with it. And I don't know about Ingenious, it's just, I'm kind of just looking for a cheap, easy way of making, I don't even know what you call, batons of cloth? Roll, it's not really rolls though. That's something I keep frustrating about, but wow, that's like really floaty. It's just hard to, it doesn't necessarily look like fabrics, but this is the best I can come up with <laughs> for, for little effort. Really the, the beach towels and stuff would probably work best. Or the, like I said, the, um, the rolled uh, sleeping bags. Let's see. Like that one, those would probably be better. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I've done t-shirts um, with some of that stuff. Uh, not necessarily the walls, but I think that could probably work too. Um, to like trying to hide some of this junk at the bottom that I don't want showing. See how clever that is? <laughs> it's not really that clever. Like desperation because I don't want to have to move that stuff up above. That's all it is. Now you got a squished up roll of fabric, but you could do the same over here. Just grab that. Did I clear that off? Okay. It's just that there aren't very many rolled um, pieces like this, unless you have, um, you know, the summer decor pack has the beach towels. Um, and I try to tend to build um, without that stuff, generally speaking, because I think a lot of builders, a lot of players, just don't want to spend um, their omni bits and things for that so I just kind of leave it so I'm hoping that additions of things like this will help sell the idea that these are little boards of fabric kind of whatever Yeah, there's the um, the striped towel. I, in fact, I think I have. Let me see. I don't know if I have any on her or not. Yeah, I actually have some of the beach towels. Uh, but yeah, you get the striped towel. There's this one, and then there's the um, a lot hand towel that has a little uh, bunny rabbit on it and carrot on there. Um, you can use any number of, of those. Uh, one good tip is if you can't complete the challenge, don't worry about it. The towels come at like midway. So if you can only get halfway, finish that, get the towel, and then run away. And it'll fail the challenge, but then you can automatically restart it up again, which is good. So like, let's see, I'd want the rolled ones, we'll put those, uh, uh, they happen to be blue too, put a few here maybe, see how it's pretty close the same. <laughs> Coffee shop sounds good though. I wouldn't tear that down if you've already gotten it set up. So if I was smart, I would probably get the set that has the yellow towels and uh, the other one is uh, what kind of, I think it's blue and pink stripes so that I have more fabrics to toss around in here. But I won't be. I'll probably uh, grab these. These will be our white bits. Oh, 
Uh, well, the last time I did it, which was, I have to be honest, probably a month or two ago, um, that's how I stocked up on um, towels. Uh, in fact, I did that uh, back in uh, February when we had the Valentine's uh, stuff going on. I did that for my Valentine's. I needed a bunch of towels for the table dressing. Um, and both times it worked well for me. It was because I can't complete the challenge anyway. I get just a little past the halfway mark and I end up failing. So it was frustrating because I never could get the kitchen sink out of it as a possible reward. But um, the towels for sure were pretty easy to, to get a hold of. So I guess it was a win win. I'm going to knock this down a bit. See, it needs a wood end as well. See, ideally, this is how I would have done all of them. I can get it right. It's supposed to be like the wood is like just the holder and kind of like a spool, a giant spool, but it's flat. Oh, did it bones? Good, good. I'm glad. Because um, that was the only other tree I could think of that we hadn't talked about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Gatorade machine comes from that, too. I don't use too many of those, thankfully. But the towels, I have used quite a bit in different ways. So... It was uh, it was nice to have that as an option to be able to fail it and then immediately restart it. Now, if that's changed, my apologies, but for the last time that I did um, any kind of grinding, um, that worked really awesomely for me. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm undecided if I want to do one with that one because we already have a red. Let's just make a set of this here. It's going to work. And then maybe something else here, or just leave that empty. I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, if you're able to get the kitchen sink out of that one, uh, kudos to you. I just never can finish that thing. Used to, they uh, 
allowed you to use your just your fighting skills and now you have to use their little button stuff and before i think too you were allowed to help um your fellow uh, boxers and i think that's been changed as well but i just i am terribly awful at their little system Okay, so there we have um, some fabric shelf. Uh, you could make it an L shape uh, and do it for both, but maybe we'll have something else here. I'm not sure what, but um, it's just like I put the sewing machine here, but I may end up moving it to its own little table. I'm not sure. Um, first, I got to finish the, the sewing thing, uh, figure out if that's going to look right or not. I wonder if I should just make that smaller. And that would help get rid of the spiky bits on the top, mostly. Something like that, I don't know. I'm going to have to Google up some pictures of sewing machines and see about what all I need to add on to it because like I thought about maybe um see this isn't exactly roundish this uh lamp post is kind of squished so it's kind of oblong so that makes it a little awkward if like say I wanted to use like the red moon vents um event. Like if I wanted to use those for the cappers, uh, cappers, uh, the ends of the machine itself. Then uh, it won't work quite right because this isn't, um, the, the lamp itself isn't round. So I don't think that will work as nicely as I'd like it to. And I don't want to have to use multiples of the lamp just to get the shape right because then the light that comes off of it might be a little too bright and annoying. I don't know, maybe that'll work, sort of. Like an old rickety... Kind of machine thingy. I don't know. And I guess it needs some kind of a bobbin thing up the top. I don't know what could be used for that uh, I I don't think I have like the there's the cable um, let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about there's the cable thing that looks like um, a spool of thread uh, no not the set manager rubber um, coiled cable but uh, it's not very easy to get a hold of I think it's a world drop I'm honestly not sure where it comes from I have a few but I think I've used them in other places on different plots so I don't have access to it here um, again the thread would be coppery so you know it's not like you could make different ones um, this here where I was using this is a kind of a bobbin uh, thing with thread on it. Um, that won't work because, you know, there's the rest of the fence part that's sticking out. Um, I, I'm just not quite sure what, what could be used. The, a bottle for some reason just pops into my head, but like, like this one. But I really don't know what it looks like at the top, um, honestly, because 
Is it? Is there like a doohickey above the thing, or just? And is it like more in the middle? Is it to the side? Is it on this end? That's the things I don't know. Maybe it's closer to the end where the needle is. I have absolutely no idea. So I'm going to have to Google up some pictures. And then it's like, well, how do you make that look like a little thing of thread? I, I, I seriously don't know. Maybe it would be better to, um, well, I'd really like to use like plates, but I think at that size, it would just be too, too tiny. Um, and the reason I say plates is because like, uh, if I use, let's just put one here. If I can show you as an example. If you just give it a little bit of space, see how there's like a little bit of a, a line it looks thready if I was to like take all of those and uh, like uh, link only like decor if I was to shrink those down quite a bit and then like make it taller maybe it would look like some white thread sort of um, but I think just at that size, it's a little too small, maybe. I don't know. Definitely too big for this machine, I think, at that size. But it might just be a detail that's just too, too detailed. I don't know how you want to say that. Yeah, I think that's still too big. <laughs> well, that's kind of, um, uh, my mom was a seamstress for like, I don't know, many, many years, way back when, um, the, factory ended up closing and, and they all got uh, laid off and everything, but um, uh, she was a seamstress there, and but she also had her own machine at home, and it was one of those that um, there was like a little pedal um, that she used sometimes, and it would squeak when she'd push on it, and uh, it also had one of these little handle things because that controlled the needle, so she'd like turn it as she wanted the needle to go up at a certain position and <laughs> yeah I could but I want to keep it uh, notice I don't do a lot of the neon signs and electronic stuff I, you know I've got the tablets and things but I've been kind of avoiding that I kind of want to keep it old school looking um, but uh, whoops Uh, go back to turnips and the shelf, even though there's really no shelf. Uh, but I remember that, and that's kind of, I guess, what's inspired this. I'm using all these plates for this one little bit. A lot of plates. And I'm not even really being super accurate with the spacing. You can see the spacing is really off. And then we need some kind of a, a thingy. So I guess probably a vent tank would work best for that.
I don't know, some, something like that. I'd have to look, do some more research. <laughs> you have half a plot. <laughs> you talking about for tomorrow's uh, tours or something? I'd prefer to wait until you're done, unless you think it's going to be forever. <laughs> or you're just not intending on coming back at all. Then, of course, I would go ahead and stream the, the half a plot that you have. You talking about Alora's? Well, that sounds fun, Kruja. Outside is pretty much done. So it's just the bunker house mostly that you have left to work on. Uh, was that the part that was going to be what the speakeasy or whatever? I think is what you said. I mean, not speakeasy. I'm thinking of Bones's place. Um, I don't know. What were you doing? Oh, okay. The interior, that was the one. That's the Orin house, isn't it? Um, with the fancy kitchen that I like so much. And the. Uh, I think the last thing you were working on was the bathroom, I think. That's up to you. If you really want me to go ahead and, and uh, tour it, I will do that. If you don't feel like you're going to be getting back to it anytime soon. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> I kind of just retweet anything that's usually to do with housing because I, I try to promote housing, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I do like a lot of your stuff. Oh, okay. This is another one. Well, which one is this? Because I know about Allura's. I've been waiting on that one forever as well. What's the other one? And I'll write it down. Yeah, exactly, boy. There's a lot of nice stuff over there. One of these days, we'll get to messing around on NA a little more. I've been so reluctant on that. It's not because I don't like you guys over there. It's just... We already... Well... Back when I started the streaming, there were so many people doing streaming and doing house tours and stuff. NA was like super covered and uh, EU was kind of ignored. We were like the, the ugly stepchild. And uh, so I wanted to focus mostly on that. And I've just kind of been reluctant to do, not do that anymore to stretch my view. A thousand items, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. I'm writing that down, Cheeky. Oh, well, I appreciate it, Pooja. I do. I know my hours are kind of weird, but I have a lot of uh, viewers that just watch it on YouTube. Which is fine. Um, so I appreciate it, whatever way. So is that what you want me to do, Cheeky? Is that what you, you want me to go ahead and stream it even though it's only half done? You know, tour it. I don't mean stream it, but tour it. Tour stream. Stream tour. Because I do have tours coming up tomorrow. I haven't even gone through my list. I'll have to do that later. All right. Well, I will note that it's only half with the hopeful prospect that you will continue it at some point. And yes, I'll be here um, for a little bit after the stream. Um, Bones has got me... For part of that, though, 
um, I'm going to be doing a quick pre-tour of uh, Bones' plot uh, for tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's pretty bad if you don't know the way around. You built it. <laughs> but yeah, if you need something afterwards, uh, in fact, I probably should be wrapping it up. Because I want to be able to give Bones some attention. I can stick around for you. And then I need to be heading off. Okay, so didn't do a whole lot, but hopefully it gave you guys some ideas for, you know, again, even if you're not planning on doing a clothing shop or a seamstress area or whatever, um, maybe like the way we do the strings or the fabrics, um, maybe there would be funny cushions or uh, just different ways of looking at things. Even the tables, the shelves, if that gives you an idea of something you want to make for your house. Um, fantastic. Again, this is mostly in relation to uh, the CBDC. It's not specifically fairy tale related this part, um, but I am pretending that this is um, where people would come for costumes. Uh, later, um, like with the holiday seasons coming up, maybe we'll make some uh, uh, Shades Eve costumes or Winterfest costumes, and that will be added in as part of the gallery uh, showcase parts here. Um, we'll just move this one over here. So this would be like the fairy tale one, and this might be for um, Winterfest, and this one might be for uh, Shades Eve or something. That's if I can come up with some ideas for costumes and that kind of thing. So something to think about. Just another way of while you come up with an idea and it's focused in a particular way, you could always figure out ways to expand on that idea to uh, make it useful for more than just one particular period of time or instance. Um, so yeah, like the bakery, if you have a bakery, um, maybe you have holiday desserts that only come out during the holidays. Maybe you make some special cakes that have um, Winterfest decorations or um, or Jay-Z themed or something um, you know that will give you an opportunity to kind of change out parts even if you don't want to do a whole rebuild kind of thing kind of like with the mall that I have um, which I haven't really messed with in a while um, but that's the concept behind it so that you know when the inspiration hits for some small little project you can incorporate it into something you already have Okay, so we're going to wrap it up. Um, I thank you guys for joining me. Um, again, reminder that um, uh, there is the new uh, topiary pack, the autumn version. Again, I don't know um, if it's less items for the same price as the original topiary pack because it doesn't have the times four on here. Again, I don't know if that's... Um, just a, a miss uh, print and there's actually four of those bushes in it or if it's just the singles all the way through um, I I myself haven't purchased it and I haven't heard of anyone uh, actually buying it to, to sell uh, to see if it's indeed just a misprint or um, if it you know is less um, but for the original for sure it shows it as times four for all the different hedge shapes um, so just be aware of that um, if you go to purchase it and then realize it's just singles. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> um, as well, the uh, the uh, daily rewards. Um, for those of you that have gotten this far up into day 340 and onward, um, they are planning to add up to 365, I think it is. So a full year's worth. Um, and then anyone that's unlocked day 340, uh, which is the last welder NPC, um, they're going to be working in a, a thing where it will actually unlock the other races in the housing vendor. So the Oren, the Draken, um, and that kind of thing. Uh, Makari, or maybe it's Mordash, Mordash I think. Um, those versions will be unlocked in your housing vendor 
at some point. Not right now, um, but it's something they're working on. So good news for those of you that like those welders and wanted ones in your race if they hadn't come around yet. So something to keep in mind. But yes, as uh, Koi has been posting in the chat, um, this month's CBDC theme is fairy tales. You have until the 30th of this month. That's when we have the showcase. Um, I haven't really heard of anyone else doing anything. So hopefully it's not just me rehashing my own stuff. But if it is, so be it. Um, it's been fun tinkering around with it regardless. Um, we will have a new theme coming up at the first um, uh, part of the month of October. Hopefully as quick as possible because I want to give you guys plenty of time to work on your projects. Um, I'm hoping this one will be a fun one. Um, again, I don't know if anyone's going to participate, but hopefully so. Um, and of course, tomorrow is house tours. I believe it's Exile's turn, so um, brace yourselves for that. And uh, as always, thank you for the follows, the tweets, the retweets, the votes, just your general support, and of course the company uh, of your guys' uh, attention in uh, the chat. It's always a pleasure. Um, it's great to be able to interact with the audience, uh, to be able to, you know, uh, banter back and forth on uh, housing-related topics especially when we come into brainstorming and, and talking about ideas and things that one person uses and another one says, oh, well, I use this. I always love that. It's very fun. Um, speaking of which, if you are looking for a uh, chat channel that some of us collect on, you can look on my Twitch channel page. I've got the listing of uh, some housing circles for both factions on Jabbit uh, EU. I don't have any listings for um, NA side, though I'm sure they have some circles as well. Um, but uh, for um, Jabbit, we have two on uh, Exile side and one on Dominion. Um, generally speaking, I think every member of both, uh, of all three, have invitation rights. So if you're looking to get invited, just uh, give a shout out in like the Housing Zone chat and see if anyone's online. Typically, there's always at least somebody around, um, unless your hours are really wonkier than mine. But um, yeah, uh, the reason there's two on Exile side is the first one has been kind of filled up. Um, they purge a few of the members that haven't been around for months, once in a while to make a little bit of room. Uh, the second one is actually mostly made up of alts because a lot of us builders have multiple plots that we work on and they wanted a way to be able to keep everyone in touch. Um, and while this, the circles are separated, we do have a universal uh, uh, custom chat channel. Um, so just ask about that when you join and uh, we'll get you hooked up. Um, and that just keeps everybody in contact uh, no matter where they might be. So. Yeah, uh, it's a good, uh, a good step. Yeah, we don't really do a lot of housing chat in, in the zone. Occasionally you get it on uh, EU side. Um, someone's, you know, maybe they have a grand opening going on or they just finished it and they want people to come look. But generally our, our housing chat is pretty quiet. It's weird. Um, even our... Um, uh, circles are relatively quiet, um, but if you want to ask for help or want some advice or something, everybody's really quick to, to join in. Uh, yes, uh, Poi, thank you for reminding me. There is a housing competition for NA uh, plots only. Um, I believe, uh, uh, I don't even know all the details. Let me Let me quickly see if I can pull that up. I assumed it was in the housing form, but I think they put it on EU's, I mean, NA's uh, forms. Hold on a second. Ugh. Yes, it's called uh, Lifestyles of Nexus. Five entries close October 15th. Um, I don't know if there's any particular theme um, I do know they're limiting uh, players to two plots 
uh, you can either do two exile plots, one exile, one dominion, or two dominion plots. Um, commissioned uh, plots are allowed as well, as long as you clearly state that that's what it is. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any particular theme that they're aiming for. And of course, the prizes are to be determined. I think they were trying to get in touch with Carbine to see about getting some actual physical swag to hand out. So if you're um, on uh, NA side, be sure and look that up. It's uh, the Black Dagger Society is hosting it. It's called The Lifestyles of Nexus 5. Um, it's a post by uh, Chestnut. You'll see it. It's in the Entity PVE um, Realm Forum subforum. Uh, it's right there. Just got all the information listed out, a little fact even with it. And um, so, yeah, there's already been uh, a couple of people that uh, submitted their plots. And again, you have until October 15th to uh, submit. Uh, and there's other rules like keeping your plot open uh, at a certain period for the judges to be able to come by. And if you want to offer a personalized tour, that kind of thing. So, yeah, something to get in on. Um, it's unfortunate we don't have as much of stuff like that on EU side. Um, it's a little bit too much work for me. I prefer just to do the tours rather than actually having contests and stuff. Because uh, the logistics of getting all of that stuff out. I mean, the 50th House Tours episode, that was, it wasn't a nightmare, but it was a lot of work trying to keep it all organized, making sure everybody got their prizes and... Uh, keeping it all fair and, and all that kind of stuff. But I just can't imagine trying to, you know, I don't want to appear as if I'm being favorite to somebody because I picked this or that. I was a judge in one of the contests last year, I think, and that was a, a real tough deal. Um, even though we were given like a, a sheet with um, categories and, and point systems and stuff, it was still very tough to do and uh, I think people just end up feeling bad so I prefer not to do that kind of stuff anywho um, so yeah that's it for today guys again appreciate it uh, thank you for joining hope you had fun and uh, be sure and join us tomorrow for house tours uh, fingers crossed everything goes smoothly um, we shouldn't have any cancellations uh, further on so until then good luck with your projects and have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.